Hey guys, this is Brent with Sonic Electronics and today we're going to be showing you how to wire these two single 2 ohm subs in parallel to equal a 1 ohm final impedance. Alright guys, so here we have our JLW3V2 single 2 ohm subwoofer and one way to verify that it's a single voice coil is by taking a look at the subwoofer's basket. We'll see here we just have one set of terminals, one positive and one negative. If we look at the other side, we don't see another set of terminals, so we know it's not a dual voice coil. Now prior to wiring your woofers, you may want to check the impedance before you start just to verify that you did get the correct woofer. So in order to test your woofer's impedance, we want to go ahead and put the digital multimeter setting on ohms. Take our two test leads, positive and negative, and attach it to the terminals on the woofer. Now, it does not matter if you mismatch these. We're just reading the impedance. So one thing I want to point out, you want to make sure that you leave this woofer on a flat surface facing the sky. You want the cone facing the sky because if we touch it or even breathe on the woofer, it's going to make the woofer's impedance fluctuate on the meter, as you see here. It's going to give us a false reading. We don't want that. So after we let it sit for a second, we're going to notice it's going to go down to 2 ohms. Now it may fluctuate a couple points above the reading or below the reading. Don't worry, as long as it stays steady, within that 2 ohm reading, we're golden. So today we're going to be using blue as positive and gray as negative. I'm going to go ahead and attach my blue lead to the positive terminal on the woofer, our gray lead to the negative terminal on the woofer. Now we have this one piece left. We're going to go ahead and join that with a jumper to our secondary woofer by joining the two positive leads together, which are blue, and the two gray leads together, which are negative. And once these are twisted together, we can go ahead and terminate the connections on our last set of terminals on our second woofer. So once we successfully wire these two single 2 ohm subs in parallel, we're going to go ahead and double check our final impedance with our multimeter. So we're going to go ahead and do as we did before, putting it onto the ohm setting, taking our two test leads here, and attaching them to the speaker wire that we wired up with our woofer. Now we should meter a 1 ohm final impedance. It may fluctuate above that reading a little bit or below that reading a little bit. It's okay as long as we stay steady. Now once again, this is how we wire two single 2 ohm subs in parallel to equal a 1 ohm final impedance. This is Brennan with Sonic Electronics, your source for everything car audio.